This February, the world's eyes will turn towards Vancouver for the 2010 Winter Olympics. But amidst the normal drama that typically surrounds the Games, a new controversy has arisen with the unexpected last-minute replacement of a number of high-profile Olympians. Beginning last weekend, when it was announced that five-time Olympic medalist Apollo Anton Ono would be replaced by talk show host Jay Leno. I felt good. I felt peaked. I was at my physical best. Mentally, I was calm. I was ready to go. And then I got cut. Um, so in my, in my mind, there was this thought of, you know, you work too hard, you know? Because I'm in that, still in that zone, everything is happening so fast. And no, it's over, it's all over, you know? The surprises didn't end there, as NBC, which broadcasts this year's games, further announced that Mr. Leno would also be replacing U.S. team members in the biathlon, snowboard, curling, and women's downhill skiing events. In addition, he will be joined by NBC President and CEO Jeff Zucker for the ice dancing and two-man luge competitions. Leno will also replace longtime Olympic host Bob Costas, simultaneously providing coverage of himself while participating in the Winter Games. Good riddance, fuckface. So long, you fetus-faced windbag. Good luck managing a Denny's douchebag. From Vancouver, B.C., this is Shia Pontier reporting.